Good morning from Cabo, guys. For today's uh, tip of the day, I'm going to uh, do something a little bit different because I've been talking a lot about uh, waging war on inactivity and showing you how to stay active, whether you're on vacation or just uh, going through those daily, uh, the daily minutia of life, how to find time uh, during work or school throughout the day. Remember, you want to stay active throughout the day. Today's tip of the day, I'm sitting here in a uh, Infinity Edge hot tub uh, from my balcony in Cabo. Just sitting, that's right, just sitting, sitting. And yeah, I know, I recommend moving every 30 minutes uh, of inactivity for 60 seconds. 60 seconds of exercise for every 30 minutes that you're inactive uh, throughout the day. But, but, while sitting uh, can be bad for your health, too much sitting, uh, sitting and relaxing can actually be extremely beneficial for your health. You know, I, I think most people realize that now. Medicine, uh, you know, they say things like laughter is the best medicine, and, and it's really true. Research actually shows that uh, when people experience, you know, sort of awe-inspiring, um, you know, experiences, whether it's traveling to the Taj Mahal, traveling to uh, Cabo, they have lower uh, IL-6. Now, IL-6 stands for interleukin-6. It's a type of cytokine. It's actually one of the, the uh, molecules that I used to study uh, during my doctoral work uh, at the University of Connecticut. IL-6 is an inflammatory cytokine. It can cause inflammation throughout the body. So having lower levels means you have less inflammation. More inflammation, more IL-6, leads to more health issues like obesity, diabetes, heart disease, even cancers. So having a lower IL-6 can be very, very beneficial for your health. Meaning, get out, guys. You gotta, you got to, you got to stay active, stay active, stay active. But also take time to relax and enjoy your life, enjoy your surroundings. It's absolutely critical for your health. It's also critical for your gains, guys. One study from the University of Texas in Austin had college students follow a 12-week periodized training program. Those who reported having more stress during the 12-week period made significantly lower gains in strength and muscle mass as those reporting less strength. Le as, sorry, as those reporting less stress, not less strength. So those with less stress in their life during that 12-week period gained more strength, significantly more strength, and significantly more mass. Stay active, guys. Stay focused. Stay driven. But take the time to relax. Absolutely critical. It's critical for your health. It's even critical for your gains. Stay stress-free, guys. Stay Jim Army strong.